Once upon a time, nestled deep in the heart of a lush, green forest, there stood a quaint little cottage. This cottage was home to a kind-hearted old woman named Eliza. She was known far and wide for her gentle nature and her ability to weave magic into every corner of her life. Every evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, Eliza would take a stroll through the forest, her footsteps light upon the moss-covered path. She would pause to admire the vibrant hues of the flowers, the whispering leaves of the trees, and the playful dance of the fireflies as they lit up the darkness. One particularly warm summer evening, as Eliza made her way through the forest, she stumbled upon a small clearing bathed in the soft glow of the moonlight. There, nestled amongst a bed of wildflowers, lay a wounded bird, its delicate feathers ruffled and its eyes filled with fear. Eliza approached the bird with gentle hands, her heart overflowing with compassion. She carefully cradled the injured creature in her palms, whispering soothing words of comfort as she tended to its wounds. With each passing moment, the bird seemed to relax, its rapid breath slowing to a steady rhythm. As Eliza sat with the bird, she began to sing a soft lullaby, her voice blending harmoniously with the gentle rustle of the leaves above. Slowly but surely, the bird's eyelids began to droop, its body growing heavy with sleep. With a final tender caress, Eliza placed the bird back amongst the flowers, watching with a smile as it nestled into its makeshift bed. As she made her way back to her cottage, the forest seemed to hum with contentment, the very air infused with a sense of peace and tranquility. That night, as Eliza lay down to sleep, she couldn't help but feel grateful for the simple joys that surrounded her. For in the heart of the forest, amidst the whispers of the wind and the gentle murmur of the stream, she had found solace, comfort, and the purest form of magic imaginable. And so, under the watchful gaze of the moon and the stars, Eliza drifted off into a peaceful slumber. Her dreams filled with the melodies of the forest and the soft flutter of wings in the night. In the heart of a vibrant valley, there existed a garden unlike any other. This garden, known as the Garden of Dreams, was said to be enchanted, filled with flowers of every shape, size, and color imaginable. But among them all, there was one flower that stood out from the rest a delicate bloom by the name of Petal. Petal was no ordinary flower. With petals as soft as silk, and a fragrance that could rival the sweetest perfume, she possessed a beauty that captivated all who beheld her. Yet, despite her outward splendor, Petal longed for something more an adventure beyond the confines of the garden walls. One moonlit night, as the stars twinkled overhead, and the gentle breeze whispered through the leaves, Petal made a decision. With determination in her heart, she bid farewell to her fellow flowers and set out on a journey into the unknown. Her first stop was the shimmering banks of a crystal clear stream, where she danced in the moonlight and drank deeply of the cool, refreshing water. Next, she ventured into the depths of a lush, green forest, where she marveled at the towering trees and the chorus of birdsong that filled the air. As Petal journeyed onward, she encountered all manner of creatures from playful squirrels to graceful deer, each one adding its own unique charm to her adventure. Along the way, she also faced challenges fierce storms that threatened to wash her away, and treacherous paths that tested her resolve. But through it all, Petal remained undaunted, her spirit as resilient as the petals that adorned her stem. And as she pressed onward, she began to discover the true magic of her journey not in the destination itself, but in the moments of wonder and discovery that filled her every step. Eventually, after many days of travel, Petal found herself standing at the edge of a vast, open meadow, bathed in the golden light of the sunrise. And there, in the center of the meadow, she beheld the most magnificent sight of all. A field of flowers, stretching as far as the eye could see, each one more beautiful than the last. With a joyful heart, 
Petal joined her newfound companions in the dance of the meadow, her petals unfurling in a riot of color and beauty. And as she swayed in the gentle breeze, she realized that she had found her true home not in the garden or her birth, but in the wide world beyond. And so, surrounded by the boundless beauty of the meadow, Petal knew that her journey was far from over. For wherever the wind may carry her, she would always be guided by the spirit of adventure and the magic of the flowers that bloomed within her soul. In the sleepy town of Willowbrook, nestled amidst rolling hills and lush forests, there stood a house unlike any other. Known simply as the Hawthorne Manor, this sprawling estate had long been the subject of local legend and speculation. The manor's origins were shrouded in mystery, with some claiming it had been built centuries ago by an eccentric nobleman seeking solitude, while others whispered of darker, more supernatural origins. But despite the rumors that swirled around it, the manor remained a silent sentinel, its doors firmly closed to the outside world. For years, the townsfolk had regarded the manor with a mixture of fear and fascination, its looming presence casting a shadow over their peaceful existence. But one fateful day, everything changed. It began with a knock on the door a timid, hesitant rap that echoed through the halls of the manor like a whispered secret. And when the door swung open, revealing the figure of a young woman standing on the threshold, the inhabitants of Willowbrook held their breath in anticipation. The woman's name was Evelyn, a curious soul, with a thirst for adventure and a heart full of dreams. Drawn by an inexplicable force, she had come to Willowbrook in search of answers answers to questions that had haunted her since childhood. Whispered to her in the dead of night by voices she could not name. With a determined step, Evelyn crossed the threshold of the manor, her senses alive with the scent of old wood and faded memories. As she wandered through the empty halls, she felt a sense of deja vu wash over her, as though she had been here before, in another life, another time. Room by room, Evelyn explored the manor's hidden corners and forgotten chambers, her fingers trailing along the dusty tapestries and moth-eaten curtains. And with each discovery, she felt herself drawn deeper into the heart of the mystery that surrounded this enigmatic place. But it was not until she stumbled upon the library of vast, cavernous space filled with row upon row of ancient tomes and weathered manuscripts that Evelyn's true journey began. For within the pages of these dusty volumes lay the key to unlocking the secrets of the manor and the truth of her own existence. With fevered intensity, Evelyn poured over the pages, her eyes alight with the thrill of discovery. And as she pieced together the fragments of the manor's history, a tale of love and loss, of betrayal and redemption she felt a sense of purpose begin to take root within her soul. But the deeper Evelyn delved into the mysteries of the manor, the more she realized that she was not alone. Shadows lurked in the corners of her vision, whispers echoed through the empty halls, and strange occurrences plagued her every step. Undeterred, Evelyn pressed onward, driven by a determination to uncover the truth, no matter the cost. And as she delved deeper into the labyrinthine depths of the manor, she began to uncover secrets that had lain hidden for generations secrets that threatened to shake the very foundations of reality itself. But amidst the darkness and the uncertainty, Evelyn found allies in unexpected places a ghostly apparition, who guided her through the shadows. A mysterious stranger whose motives remained unclear, and a love that transcended time and space. Together, they navigated the treacherous waters of the manor's mysteries, facing challenges that tested their courage, their faith, and their loyalty. And in the end, as the final pieces of the puzzle fell into place, Evelyn stood on the brink of revelation, poised to uncover the truth that had eluded her for so long. But the truth, as Evelyn soon discovered, was far stranger and more wondrous than she could ever have imagined. For in the heart of the manor lay a gateway a portal, 
to other worlds, other dimensions, other realms beyond the limits of human comprehension. And as Evelyn stepped through the portal, her hand clasped firmly in the hand of her beloved, she knew that her journey was far from over. For beyond the threshold of the manna lay infinite possibility, infinite adventure, an infinite wonder a world waiting to be explored, a destiny waiting to be fulfilled. And so, as the sun set on Willowbrook, and the manna faded into the mists of time, Evelyn embarked on her greatest adventure yet a journey into the unknown, guided by the light of love and the promise of discovery. For in the end, as Evelyn had come to realize, the true magic of the manor lay not in its secrets or its mysteries, but in the journey itself a journey of self-discovery, of courage and of the boundless potential that lies within us all. And as she stepped into the unknown, Evelyn knew that wherever her travels may take her, the memory of the manor would always remain a beacon of hope, of wonder, and of endless possibility. In the heart of a bustling city, amidst the chaos of everyday life, there existed a love that transcended time and space. It was a love born amidst the hustle and bustle of modernity, yet rooted in the timeless depths of the human soul. It began on a rainy evening, the city streets slick with the remnants of a passing storm. In a crowded cafe tucked away in a quiet corner of the city, two souls collided in a moment of serendipity. His name was Alexander, a brooding artist with a passion for life and a heart full of dreams. Her name was Emily, a free-spirited writer with a penchant for adventure, and a soul as wild as the wind. Their meeting was like something out of a storybook. A chance encounter that sparked a flame within their hearts and set their lives on a course destined for greatness. From that moment on, they were inseparable, their love growing stronger with each passing day. But theirs was not a love without challenges. As they navigated the complexities of life in the modern world, they faced obstacles that threatened to tear them apart doubts. Insecurities and the pressures of society weighing heavy on their shoulders. Yet through it all, Alexander and Emily remained steadfast in their devotion to one another, their bond unbreakable, their love unwavering. And as they stood side by side, facing the trials and tribulations of life together, they discovered the true power of love the ability to conquer even the darkest of days. But theirs was not just a love confined to the present moment. For intertwined with the threads of their lives were echoes of a love that had spanned centuries, connecting them to souls long since departed yet forever intertwined with their own. As Alexander and Emily delved deeper into the mysteries of their connection, they unearthed fragments of memories from lives long past moments of joy and sorrow, triumph and tragedy, each one weaving a tapestry of love that stretched across time and space. They discovered that they had loved and lost each other countless times before, in countless different lives and countless different forms. Yet no matter the circumstances, no matter the obstacles they faced, their love had always endured, a beacon of light in a world shrouded in darkness. Together, Alexander and Emily embarked on a journey through the annals of time, uncovering the secrets of their shared past and the truth of their eternal bond. And as they traversed the ages, they came to understand that love was not bound by the constraints of time or the limitations of the physical world. For theirs was a love that existed beyond the realm of the tangible, a love that transcended the boundaries of the human experience and reached into the very depths of their souls. And as they stood on the precipice of eternity, hand in hand, they knew that their love would endure for all eternity, a timeless testament to the power of the human heart. And so, as the city lights twinkled in the distance and the world faded into darkness, Alexander and Emily embraced their destiny, their love shining bright like a beacon in the night, guiding them through the ages and into eternity.
In a sleepy coastal town nestled between towering cliffs and endless stretches of golden sand, there existed a beach unlike any other. Known simply as Crescent Cove, this idyllic stretch of shoreline held secrets that stretched back through the annals of time. The beach was a place of wonder and mystery, where the rhythmic crash of waves against the shore provided a backdrop for the stories of generations past. From dawn until dusk, the sands of Crescent Cove bore witness to the ebb and flow of life, capturing moments of joy, sorrow, and everything in between. At the heart of Crescent Cove stood a weathered lighthouse, its beacon casting a warm glow across the beach and guiding weary travelers home. It was here, amidst the swirling mists and salty sea air, that our story begins. It was a warm summer's day when Sarah first set foot on Crescent Cove. Drawn by an inexplicable force, she had come seeking solace amidst the chaos of her busy life. Hoping to find peace and clarity in the gentle embrace of the sea. As Sarah wandered along the shoreline, her bare feet sinking into the soft sand. She felt a sense of calm wash over her, as though the weight of the world had been lifted from her shoulders. With each step, she left behind the worries and troubles of the outside world, immersing herself in the timeless beauty of Crescent Cove. As the sun began to dip below the horizon, casting a fiery glow across the sky, Sarah found herself drawn to a secluded alcove nestled amongst the cliffs. It was here that she discovered a hidden treasure a collection of withered journals, each one filled with the musings and memories of those who had come before her. With trembling hands, Sarah flipped through the pages, her heart swelling with a sense of wonder as she delved into the lives of those who had walked this beach before her. From love letters penned by star-crossed lovers to tales of adventure and exploration, the journals held a wealth of stories waiting to be uncovered. But amidst the tales of joy and triumph, Sarah also stumbled upon darker secret stories of loss and heartache, of lives cut short and dreams left unfulfilled. And as she read, she felt a deep sense of empathy for those who had come before her their struggles and triumphs echoing through the sands of Crescent Cove. As the days turned into weeks, Sarah returned to Crescent Cove time and time again, each visit bringing her closer to the heart of its mysteries. With each journal she uncovered and each story she unraveled, she felt herself drawn deeper into the fabric of the beach's history, her own story intertwining with those of generations past. But it was not until she stumbled upon an old, leather-bound journal hidden beneath a pile of driftwood, that Sarah's journey took an unexpected turn. Within its pages, she discovered the story of a young woman named Isabel, whose life had been forever changed by a single, fateful encounter on the shores of Crescent Cove. As Sarah read Isabel's words, she felt a connection unlike any she had ever known as though their souls were intertwined across the vast expanse of time. And as she delved deeper into Isabel's story, she began to uncover the truth of her own existence. A truth that had been waiting to be revealed since the moment she first set foot on Crescent Cove's hallowed shores. With each passing day, Sarah felt herself growing closer to the truth. Her heart racing with anticipation as she pieced together the fragments of the puzzle that lay before her. And as she stood on the beach, the salty sea breeze caressing her skin, she knew that she was on the brink of a discovery that would change her life forever. And so, as the sun dipped below the horizon, and the stars began to twinkle in the night sky, Sarah closed her eyes and let the gentle lullaby of the waves wash over her. For in that moment, she knew that she had found not just a beach, but a place of endless possibility. Where the past, present, and future converged in a timeless dance of love and longing. And as she whispered a silent prayer to the sea, Sarah knew that her journey was far from over for amidst the sands of Crescent Cove. There were still mysteries waiting to be uncovered, stories waiting to be told and a love that would endure for all eternity. In the quaint town of Willowbrook, 
Nestled amidst rolling hills and lush forests, there existed a friendship unlike any other. It was a bond forged in the fires of childhood, tested by the trials of adolescence, and strengthened by the challenges of adulthood. At the heart of this friendship were four inseparable friends Sarah, Emily, James, and Michael. They had grown up together, their lives intertwined in a tapestry of shared memories and shared dreams. From lazy summer days spent exploring the woods to late-night conversations beneath the stars. They had weathered the storms of life together, their friendship standing firm against the passage of time. It was a warm summer's day when Sarah first met Emily, their paths crossing in the bustling town square. Sarah was a shy, reserved girl with a passion for books and a heart full of dreams. Emily, on the other hand, was a free-spirited soul with a love for adventure and a smile that could light up even the darkest of days. From the moment they met, Sarah and Emily knew that theirs was a friendship destined to last a lifetime. They spent their days exploring the town, their laughter echoing through the streets as they embarked on countless adventures together. As the years passed, Sarah and Emily's friendship only grew stronger, their bond deepening with each passing day. They shared their hopes and fears, their dreams and aspirations, knowing that no matter what life threw their way, they would always have each other to lean on. But Sarah and Emily's friendship was not the only one to blossom in Willowbrook. Across town, James and Michael forged their own inseparable bond, their friendship rooted in a shared love of sports and a mutual respect for one another. James was the captain of the football team, with a natural talent for the game and a heart as big as the stadium itself. Michael, on the other hand, was a quiet, introspective soul with a passion for photography and a keen eye for beauty in the world around him. Despite their differences, James and Michael complemented each other in ways that few could understand. They stood by each other through thick and thin, supporting one another through the highs and lows of life, their friendship. A beacon of strength in a world filled with uncertainty. As the four friends navigated the trials and tribulations of adolescence, they found solace in each other's company, their bond growing stronger with each passing year. Together, they weathered the storms of young love, the pressures of academic success, and the challenges of finding their place in the world. But as they stood on the brink of adulthood, the friends found themselves faced with a new set of challenges challenges that would test the very foundations of their friendship. For as they embarked on separate paths, each following their own dreams and aspirations, they began to drift apart, their once unbreakable bond beginning to fray at the edges. It was during these tumultuous times that the friends realized just how much they meant to each other, their shared history, serving as a reminder of the strength of their friendship. And so, they made a vow a vow to always remain true to each other, no matter where life may take them. As the years passed and the friends embarked on their own separate journeys, they found comfort in the knowledge that their bond would never fade. They may have been separated by time and distance, but their friendship remained as strong as ever, a beacon of light in the darkness of the world. And so, as they gathered once again in the town of Willowbrook, their laughter echoing through the streets as they reminisced about days gone by, they knew that no matter what the future may hold, they would always have each other for theirs, was a friendship that transcended time and space, a friendship that would endure for all eternity. In the vast expanse of the universe, amidst the swirling galaxies and twinkling stars, there existed a planet teeming with life. This planet, known simply as Earth, was home to a myriad of creatures from the tiniest insects to the mightiest beasts, each one playing a role in the intricate tapestry of existence. At the heart of this vibrant world stood humanity, a species unlike any other, endowed with the gift of consciousness and the capacity for self-awareness. From the moment of their birth, Humans embarked on a journey a journey through the labyrinth of life, 
filled with twists and turns, trials and triumphs. Our story begins with a child, born into the world with eyes wide open, eager to explore the wonders that lay beyond. From their first breath, they were greeted with the warmth of love and the promise of possibility, their future stretching out before them. Like an open road, waiting to be traveled. As the child grew, they encountered the joys and sorrows of life, the laughter of friends, the tears of loss, the thrill of discovery, and the pain of heartache. Each experience shaped them in ways they could never have imagined, molding them into the person they were destined to become. Along the way, the child met companions who would walk by their side through the journey of life friends who shared their laughter and wiped away their tears, mentors, who offered guidance and wisdom, and lovers who ignited the flames of passion and desire. But life was not always easy, and the child faced challenges that tested their strength, their resilience, and their faith. From the depths of despair to the heights of triumph, they persevered, drawing upon the inner reserves of courage and determination that lay within them. As the years passed and the child grew into adulthood, they found themselves grappling with the age-old questions that had plagued humanity since the dawn of time. Questions of meaning, of purpose, of the very nature of existence itself. And so, they embarked on a quest, a quest for truth, for enlightenment, for a deeper understanding of the mysteries that lay, at the heart of the universe. They sought knowledge in books and wisdom in the words of sages, traveling far and wide in search of the answers they so desperately sought. But as they journeyed through the vast expanse of existence, the child came to realize that the answers they sought could not be found in the outside world, but within themselves. For within each of us lies a spark of divinity, a fragment of the infinite wisdom that created the universe itself. And so, the child turned inward, delving deep into the recesses of their own soul, seeking solace in the silence, clarity in the chaos, and peace in the midst of turmoil. And there, in the quiet of their own heart, they found what they had been searching for all along the truth of their own existence, the purpose of their own being, and the infinite potential that lay within them, as the child stood on the threshold of adulthood, their heart overflowing with gratitude and their soul ablaze with newfound purpose, they knew that their journey was far from over. For life was a journey without end, a dance of light and shadow, of joy and sorrow, of birth and death, that stretched on into eternity. And so, with a smile on their lips and a song in their heart, the child stepped boldly into the unknown, ready to embrace whatever the future may hold. For they knew that no matter where life may take them, they would always be guided by the light of love, the warmth of compassion, and the boundless beauty of the human spirit. And as they disappeared into the vast expanse of the universe, their laughter echoing through the cosmos, they knew that their journey had only just begun for life was a gift, a precious gift, to be cherished and celebrated with every breath we take. Deep in the heart of a lush, green forest, there existed a place of unparalleled beauty, a sanctuary untouched by the hands of time, where the trees reached for the sky and the rivers sang a symphony of life. This was the enchanted forest, a realm of wonder and mystery, where the very air thrummed with the pulse of nature's heartbeat. As the sun cast dappled shadows upon the forest floor, a young girl named Luna ventured into the heart of the enchanted forest, her eyes wide with wonder and her heart full of curiosity. She had heard tales of the forest's magic of trees, that whispered secrets to the wind, of flowers that bloomed with the colors of the rainbow, and of creatures that danced beneath the moonlight. With each step she took, Luna felt a sense of awe wash over her, as though she had stepped into a world straight out of a fairy tale. The trees towered overhead, their branches reaching out like the arms of ancient guardians, while the underbrush rustled with the unseen movements of creatures both great and small. 
As Luna wandered deeper into the forest, she stumbled upon a clearing bathed in the soft glow of the afternoon sun. There, amidst a carpet of wildflowers, she discovered a hidden pond, its surface shimmering like liquid gold, in the gentle breeze. Drawn by the allure of the water, Luna approached the pond's edge, her reflection staring back at her with wide-eyed wonder. And as she dipped her fingers into the cool, clear water, she felt a sense of peace wash over her, as though the forest itself were reaching out to welcome her into its embrace. But as Luna gazed into the depths of the pond, she noticed something shimmering beneath the surface a glimmering light that seemed to beckon to her from the depths below. With the sense of excitement coursing through her veins, Luna plunged her hand into the water, grasping hold of the object hidden beneath. To her astonishment, Luna pulled forth a golden key a key unlike any she had ever seen, adorned with intricate carvings and sparkling gemstones. And as she held the key aloft, she felt a surge of energy course through her, as though she had unlocked a door to a world beyond her wildest dreams. With the sense of determination burning in her heart, Luna set out to discover the secrets that lay hidden within the enchanted forest. With each step she took, she encountered new wonders hidden glades filled with the laughter of woodland creatures. Ancient ruins covered in moss and ivy, and hidden pathways that led to realms beyond imagination. But as Luna delved deeper into the mysteries of the forest, she also encountered dangers lurking in the shadows, dark forces that sought to ensnare her in their grasp and steal away the magic that pulsed through her veins. Yet Luna was undaunted, her spirit as fierce as the flames that danced upon the hearth. With the golden key clutched tightly in her hand, she faced the challenges that lay before her with courage and determination, knowing that with each trial she overcame, she grew stronger and more attuned to the magic that surrounded her. And so, as the sun dipped below the horizon, and the stars twinkled overhead, Luna stood at the edge of the enchanted forest, her heart full of gratitude for the wonders she had witnessed and the adventures she had experienced. For in the depths of the forest, amidst the whispering trees and the murmuring rivers, she had discovered the true magic of life the beauty of nature. The power of friendship, and the boundless potential that lay within us all. And as Luna turned to leave the forest behind, she knew that her journey was far from over. For the enchanted forest was a place of endless possibility, a realm where dreams took flight and miracles were born. And though she may have left its enchanted depths behind, the memories of her time within its embrace would stay with her forever. A reminder of the beauty and wonder that lay waiting to be discovered in the world around her. In the bustling city of Metropolis, where skyscrapers kissed the clouds, and neon lights painted the streets in a kaleidoscope of colors, there stood a television studio unlike any other. Known as Studio 7, this iconic building was the beating heart of the entertainment industry, where dreams were born and legends were made. At the helm of Studio 7 was a visionary producer named Max, whose passion for television knew no bounds. With a keen eye for talent and a knack for storytelling, Max had transformed Studio 7 into a powerhouse of creativity, producing hit shows that captivated audiences around the world. But behind the glitz and glamour of Studio 7 lay a world of intrigue and drama, where rivalries simmered beneath the surface and egos clashed like titans. From the temperamental actors to the demanding directors, navigating the treacherous waters of the television industry was no easy feat. One fateful day, a young aspiring actress named Lily walked through the doors of Studio 7, her eyes filled with determination and her heart set on stardom. With her infectious charm and undeniable talent, Lily quickly caught the attention of Max, who saw in her the potential for greatness. Under Max's guidance, Lily soared to new heights, landing roles in hit television shows and capturing the hearts of audiences everywhere. But fame came with a price, 
and Lily soon found herself caught in the whirlwind of celebrity. Navigating paparazzi, dodging scandal, and struggling to maintain her sanity, in a world that never slept. As Lily's star continued to rise, she found herself drawn into a web of intrigue and betrayal, where friends became enemies and enemies became allies. And amidst the chaos of it all, she found solace in the arms of Max, whose unwavering support and belief in her talents never wavered. But as Lily soon discovered, not everything was as it seemed at Studio 7. Beneath the glitz and glamour lay a dark underbelly a world of secrets and lies, where the line between reality and fiction blurred, and the true cost of fame became all too clear. Determined to uncover the truth, Lily delved deeper into the mysteries of Studio 7, uncovering a web of deception that threatened to tear the very fabric of the entertainment industry apart. With each revelation, she found herself drawn closer to the heart of the conspiracy, a conspiracy that reached far beyond the confines of the studio walls. But with Max by her side, Lily refused to back down, determined to expose the truth and bring those responsible to justice. And as the secrets of Studio 7 were laid bare for all to see, Lily emerged victorious, her name forever etched in the annals of television history. And so, as the sun set on Studio 7, and the neon lights flickered to life once more, Lily stood on the threshold of a new beginning. Her future shining bright like the stars in the night sky. For in the world of television, where dreams became reality, and reality became fiction, anything was possible as long as you had the courage to chase your dreams. In the heart of a verdant meadow, where wildflowers swayed in the gentle breeze, and the sun painted the sky in hues of gold and crimson, there lived a wondrous creature known as the Butterfly Queen. She was a majestic monarch, her wings adorned with the colors of the rainbow, her presence a beacon of beauty and grace. The Butterfly Queen ruled over her domain with kindness and compassion, her gentle spirit touching the hearts of all who dwelled within the meadow. Under her watchful gaze, the meadow flourished, bursting forth with life in all its myriad forms, from the smallest blade of grass to the tallest oak tree. Each one a testament to the queen's boundless love for her kingdom. But amidst the splendor of the meadow, there existed a darkness a shadow that threatened to engulf the beauty of the queen's realm. For deep within the heart of the forest, a wicked sorceress known as Malvoria, plotted to steal the Butterfly Queen's power for herself and plunge the meadow into eternal darkness. Driven by jealousy and greed, Malvoria unleashed her dark magic upon the land, casting a curse that withered the flowers and silenced the songbirds. And as the darkness spread, the Butterfly Queen's power began to wane, her once vibrant kingdom fading into shadow. Determined to save her kingdom from destruction, the Butterfly Queen called upon the bravest of her subjects a young butterfly named Aurora. With her wings shimmering like spun gold, and her heart filled with courage, Aurora set out on a quest to defeat Malvoria, and restore light to the meadow once more. Guided by the wisdom of the ancient forest spirits, Aurora journeyed deep into the heart of the forest, her path fraught with danger at every turn. But with each challenge she faced, she grew stronger and more determined to succeed, knowing that the fate of her beloved meadow rested in her hands. Along the way, Aurora encountered allies who joined her in her quest from wise old owls to mischievous squirrels, each one offering their own unique skills and talents to aid her on her journey. Together, they braved the perils of the forest, facing down fearsome creatures and overcoming seemingly insurmountable obstacles. But as they drew closer to Malvoria's lair, Aurora knew that their greatest challenge still lay ahead. For the sorceress's power was vast and her magic formidable, and defeating her would require all of Aurora's courage and determination. With a heart full of resolve, Aurora faced off against Malvoria, in a battle that shook the very foundations of the forest. 
Sparks flew and magic crackled in the air as the two adversaries clashed, their powers colliding in a dazzling display of light and shadow. But in the end, it was Aurora's pure heart and unwavering determination that proved to be her greatest weapon. With a final burst of strength, she unleashed a wave of light that pierced the darkness and banished Malvoria from the meadow forever. As the sunlight streamed down upon the meadow once more, the flowers bloomed and the songbirds returned, their melodies filling the air with joy and laughter. And amidst the jubilation, the Butterfly Queen bestowed upon Aurora. The highest honor the title of Guardian of the Meadow, entrusted with protecting its beauty, and ensuring that its light would never fade. And so, as the sun set on another day in the meadow, Aurora stood tall and proud, her wings outstretched to catch the last rays of light. For though the darkness may always threaten to return, she knew that, as long as she and her fellow creatures stood united in their love for the meadow, its beauty would endure for all eternity. Well, let me tell you about the incredible world under the sea, my friend. It's a world filled with wonders beyond your wildest imagination. Picture this crystal clear water stretching as far as the eye can see sunlight. Dancing on the surface and beneath that shimmering veil lies a bustling metropolis of life the underwater kingdom of fish. Now, I ain't just talking about your run-of-the-mill goldfish here. Nah, I'm talking about all sorts of fish big ones, small ones, colorful ones, plain ones. You name it, they're swimming around down there. And let me tell ya, each one's got its own story to tell. Take old Sammy the Salmon, for example. Now, he's a real character, that one. Born and raised in the cold, fast-flowing rivers up north, Sammy's got one thing on his mind the Great Migration. Every year, when the leaves start turning and the air gets crisp, Sammy and his buddies set off on an epic journey to spawn in grounds hundreds of miles away. It's a tough trek, let me tell ya, but for Sammy, it's all about keeping the circle of life going. Then there's Sally the seahorse now she's a real beauty, with her curly tail and her elegant mane. But don't let her delicate appearance fool ya, she's one tough cookie. You see, Sally's got a special talent she's a master of camouflage. With her ability to blend into her surroundings, she can sneak up on her prey without them even knowing she's there. It's a handy skill to have when you're living in a world full of predators, let me tell ya. And let's not forget about all Nemo yeah, that's right, like the one from the movies. Now, Nemo's a clownfish, and let me tell ya, he lives up to his name, always clowning around, playing games with his buddies, and causing mischief wherever he goes. But don't let his playful antics fool you when push comes to shove, Nemo's as brave as they come. I reckon that's why he ended up being the hero of his own story, saving the day and all that. But it ain't just the individual fish that make the underwater world so special it's the whole dang ecosystem. You got your coral reefs, your kelp forests, your deep sea trenches each one teeming with life in all its forms. From the tiniest plankton to the mightiest whale, every creature plays a role in keeping the balance just right. Now, I know what you're thinking what about the dark and scary parts of the ocean? Well, let me tell ya, there's plenty of those too. You got your deep sea monsters, your giant squids, your mysterious abyssal plains it's enough to give you the heebie-jeebies, ain't it? But even in the darkest depths, there's beauty to be found strange and wondrous creatures that defy imagination. So there you have it, my friend the incredible world of fish. It's a world of adventure, of mystery, and of endless wonder. And if you ever find yourself feeling a bit down, just close your eyes and picture yourself swimming in those crystal clear waters, surrounded by the colorful cast of characters that call the ocean home. Trust me, it'll put a smile on your face every time. In the heart of the city, 
Nestled between towering skyscrapers and bustling streets, there existed a place of wonder and excitement known as the Starlight Zoo. This sprawling sanctuary was home to a myriad of creatures from around the world, each one more magnificent than the last. As visitors entered the gates of the Starlight Zoo, they were greeted by a symphony of sights and sounds the majestic roar of lions. The playful chatter of monkeys, the graceful glide of dolphins in the shimmering pools. It was a world unto itself, where the wonders of nature came alive in dazzling displays of color and motion. At the helm of the Starlight Zoo was a dedicated team of caretakers and animal experts, led by the indomitable zookeeper, Drive. Amelia Summers. With her boundless passion for wildlife and her unwavering dedication to the animals under her care, Drive. Summers had transformed the Starlight Zoo into a beacon of conservation and education, inspiring visitors to appreciate and protect the natural world. But amidst the beauty and splendor of the Starlight Zoo, there existed challenges that threatened to undermine its mission. From dwindling funds to encroaching development, Drive. Summers and her team faced an uphill battle to ensure the zoo's survival in an ever-changing world. One fateful day as Drive. Summers made her rounds through the zoo, she stumbled upon a discovery that would change everything. Tucked away in a forgotten corner of the zoo was a dilapidated enclosure. Its bars rusted and its walls crumbling a relic of a bygone era, long since abandoned and forgotten. But as Drive, Summers peered through the bars, she caught sight of a pair of eyes staring back at her eyes. Filled with fear and longing, belonging to a creature that had been left behind, forgotten by the world outside. Determined to uncover the truth behind the abandoned enclosure, Drive. Summers embarked on a journey of discovery that would lead her to the heart of the zoo's darkest secrets. With the help of her loyal team and a ragtag group of animal allies, she delved deep into the mysteries of the past, unearthing a tale of greed, betrayal, and redemption that spanned generations. As Drive, Summers and her companions ventured deeper into the hidden recesses of the zoo, they encountered challenges that tested their courage and resolve. From perilous encounters with dangerous animals, to heart-wrenching discoveries of abuse and neglect, they faced each trial head-on. Fueled by their determination to uncover the truth and set things right. But amidst the darkness, there were also moments of joy and triumph from heartwarming reunions between long-lost friends too. Or inspiring displays of the natural world's beauty. And through it all, Drive. Summers and her team remained steadfast in their commitment to the animals under their care. Knowing that their love and dedication could overcome even the greatest of obstacles. As the sun set on another day at the Starlight Zoo Drive, Summers stood before the newly renovated enclosure, its bars replaced with sturdy glass and its walls adorned with lush vegetation. Inside, the creature that had once been forgotten now roamed free its eyes sparkling with newfound hope and vitality. And as the stars twinkled overhead, and the sounds of the night filled the air, drive, Summers knew that the Starlight Zoo would continue to be a beacon of hope and inspiration for generations to come. For in the heart of the city, amidst the concrete and steel, there existed a sanctuary where the wonders of the natural world could thrive, a place where dreams were born and miracles came to life. In a lush, verdant forest nestled amidst rolling hills and babbling brooks, there existed a community of trees unlike any other. Tall and majestic, with branches reaching towards the sky and roots delving deep into the rich earth below, these ancient beings formed the backbone of the forest, their presence a testament to the enduring power of nature. At the heart of the forest stood a towering oak tree known as Alder Tree. Its gnarled branches stretching out like the arms of a wise alder, embracing all who entered its sacred grove. 
Elder tree was the guardian of the forest, its roots weaving through the soil and its branches sheltering countless creatures within its leafy embrace. But Elder tree was not alone in its guardianship of the forest. Surrounding it stood a diverse array of trees from the slender birches to the sturdy pines, each one playing a vital role in the delicate balance of life that thrived within the forest's bounds. Together, the trees formed a vast network of interconnected roots known as the Wood Wide Web, through which they communicated and shared resources with one another. Through this underground network they exchanged nutrients, water, and information ensuring the health and vitality of the entire forest community. But the trees were not just passive observers of the world around them they were active participants in the grand tapestry of life each one contributing to the greater good of the forest in its own unique way. Some provided shelter and food for animals, while others purified the air and regulated the climate, their collective efforts, creating a sanctuary of unparalleled beauty and diversity. Among the inhabitants of the forest was a young sapling named Willow, whose slender branches swayed gently in the breeze, and whose leaves shimmered like silver in the sunlight. Willow was filled with curiosity and wonder, eager to explore the world beyond her roots and discover her place within the forest community. Under the watchful eye of Elder Tree, Willow embarked on a journey of self-discovery, venturing into the depths of the forest to learn from her fellow trees and uncover the secrets that lay hidden within their ancient roots. Along the way, she encountered a myriad of creatures from wise old owls to playful squirrels, each one offering their own wisdom and guidance as she navigated the complexities of life in the forest. Then as Willow delved deeper into the mysteries of the forest, she also encountered challenges that tested her strength and resilience. From fierce storms that battered her fragile branches to hungry predators that threatened her very existence, she faced each trial with courage and determination. Drawing upon the wisdom of Elder Tree and the support of her fellow trees, to overcome adversity. As the seasons turned and the years passed, Willow grew taller and stronger. Her roots sinking deeper into the earth and her branches reaching ever higher towards the sky. And with each passing day, she came to understand the true power of the forest not just as a collection of individual trees, but as a unified community bound together by a common purpose and shared destiny. But as Willow gazed out upon the forest from her lofty perch, she also sensed a growing darkness lurking on the horizon, a shadow that threatened to engulf the beauty and tranquility of the forest. It was a darkness born of greed and ignorance. As humans encroached upon the forest's borders, felling trees and destroying habitats in their relentless quest for progress. Determined to protect her home and the creatures that dwelled within it, Willow joined forces with Elder Tree and the other trees of the forest, rallying them to stand united against the forces of destruction. Together, they formed a barrier of greenery that stretched across the forest blocking the advance of the loggers and reclaiming the land that had been taken from them. But the battle was far from over, and Willow knew that they would need to enlist the help of others if they were to emerge victorious. And so, she reached out to the creatures of the forest the birds, the animals, even the insects forging alliances and forming a united front against their common enemy. As the conflict raged on, Willow and her allies faced countless challenges and setbacks, their resolve tested to its very limits. But through it all, they remained steadfast in their determination to protect their home, and preserve the beauty and diversity of the forest for generations to come. And in the end, their efforts were rewarded, as the forces of destruction were driven back, and the forest reclaimed its rightful place as a sanctuary of life and wonder. From that day forth, the trees of the forest stood tall and proud, their branches reaching towards the sky as a testament to the enduring power of nature and the indomitable spirit of those who call the forest home.
Once upon a time, in a cozy little house nestled at the end of a winding lane, there lived a sweet little baby named Lily. Now, Lily was no ordinary baby oh no. She was full of spunk and spirit, with a smile that could light up the darkest of rooms. From the moment she was born, Lily was a bundle of joy, bringing laughter and love wherever she went. With her chubby cheeks and twinkling eyes, she had a way of melting hearts and making everyone around her feel special. Now, you might be wondering what kind of adventures a baby like Lily could get up to, right? Well, let me tell you plenty. You see, even though she was just a tiny tot, Lily had a knack for getting into all sorts of mischief. One day, while Mama was busy cooking in the kitchen and Daddy was out tending to the garden, Lily decided it was time for a grand adventure. With a twinkle in her eye and a giggle on her lips, she crawled out the front door and into the big white world beyond. Now, you can imagine Mama's surprise when she turned around and realized her little Lily was nowhere to be found. Oh my goodness gracious! She cried, her heart racing a mile a minute. Where on earth has that little scamp gone off to? With Daddy's help, Mama set off on a wild goose chase, searching high and low for their mischievous little munchkin. They looked under the beds, behind the curtains, and even in the dog's bed but there was no sign of Lily anywhere. Meanwhile, our brave little adventurer, was having the time of her life exploring the big wide world. She crawled through fields of daisies, chased butterflies through meadows, and even made friends with a family of squirrels in the backyard. But as the sun began to set and the stars twinkled overhead, Lily started to feel a bit lonely. She missed Mama's warm cuddles and Daddy's silly songs and truth be told, she was getting a mite hungry too. Just when it seemed like all hope was lost, Mama and Daddy finally found their little Lily, sound asleep under the old oak tree at the end of the lane. With tears of joy in their eyes, they scooped her up into their arms and carried her back home, where she was greeted with hugs and kisses aplenty. And as they tucked her into bed that night, safe and sound in her cozy little crib, Mama and Daddy whispered a promise in her ear no matter where her adventures might take her, they would always be there to bring her home. And so, with a contented sigh, and a sleepy smile on her lips, Lily drifted off to dreamland, her heart full of love and her head full of dreams. For even though she was just a tiny baby, she knew that the greatest adventure of all was the one that awaited her each and every day right there in the loving arms of her family. Sure thing! Here's a story about a special dog named Bailey, and his incredible journey. In a quaint little town nestled amidst rolling hills, and lush greenery, there lived a dog named Bailey. Now, Bailey wasn't your average pup oh no. He was a furry ball of energy, and enthusiasm, with a heart as big as the sky, and a spirit as boundless as the ocean. From the moment he bounded into the world, Bailey was filled with an insatiable curiosity, and a thirst for adventure. With his floppy ears flapping in the breeze, and his tail wagging furiously behind him, he explored every nook and cranny of the town, leaving a trail of joy and laughter in his wake. But as much as Bailey loved his hometown, he couldn't shake the feeling that there was a whole wide world out there just waiting to be explored. So one sunny morning, with a twinkle in his eye and a skip in his step, he set off on a grand adventure. His nose pointed towards the horizon, and his heart full of excitement. As Bailey journeyed across fields and forests, mountains and meadows, he encountered all sorts of wonders from majestic waterfalls, to shimmering lakes to fields of wildflowers stretching, as far as the eye could see. And with each new discovery, his love for the world grew stronger and his determination to see it all intensified. But as Bailey traveled farther and farther from home, he also encountered challenges that tested his strength and resolve. 
From treacherous cliffs to raging rivers to fierce storms that swept across the land, he faced each obstacle with courage and determination, knowing that the greatest adventures often came with the greatest risks. Along the way, Bailey made friends with all sorts of creatures from wise old owls to mischievous squirrels, to playful otters frolicking in the river. Together, they shared stories and laughter, forming bonds that would last a lifetime and beyond. But amidst the laughter and camaraderie, Bailey also felt a twinge of loneliness in his heart. For as much as he loved his friends and the adventures they shared, he missed the warmth and comfort of home the familiar sights and sounds, the cozy nooks and crannies, and most of all, the love of his family. Determined to find his way back home, Bailey pressed on, his paws pounding the earth with determination as he journeyed ever onwards. And just when it seemed like he might never find his way back, he stumbled upon a familiar scent wafting through the air the unmistakable smell of home. With a bark of joy and a wag of his tail, Bailey followed his nose back to the quaint little town he had left behind, his heart. Soaring with happiness as he bounded through the streets towards his family's doorstep, and as he pushed open the door and bounded into the warm embrace of his loved ones, he knew that he had found his greatest adventure of all the adventure of coming home. And so, as the sun set on another day in the quaint little town, Bailey curled up beside the fireplace. His heart full of love and his belly full of treats, knowing that no matter where his adventures might take him, he would always have a place to call home.